Has this ever happened to you? You're playing a Steam game on your PC. You save your progress, switch to your Steam Deck, only to find that the save game isn't there. This is something that can happen if you're playing a title that doesn't support Steam Cloud. And you might be surprised to learn that it's not just older titles on Steam that are lacking Steam Cloud saves. In fact, many modern games don't implement such a basic feature. So let's go over how to synchronize your save files between your PC and your Steam Deck. Now, many games on Steam support cloud saving, meaning once you exit the game, your save file will be synchronized through the Steam Cloud with other devices that you're signed into. You can then play the game on a different device, quickly resuming where you last left off. Some games, however, don't support cloud saves. You'll usually be able to tell by seeing if there's a cloud icon next to the green play button or by going to the Steam Store page of the game in question. Now, the old fashioned method would have had you manually copying your save file over to other machines, but this can be a bit tedious. But there is an easier way if you don't mind setting things up yourself. Sync thing. Now, with sync thing, we don't have to manually transfer files over. It'll just sync them between the local machines on your network without any manual intervention. Now, SyncThing, as you might have guessed from the name, is a program that synchronizes files between two or more computers. SyncThing is open source and licensed under the Mozilla Public License 2.0. It's available for Linux, Mac OS, Windows, and a plethora of other operating systems. So the first thing that you'll want to do is acquire SyncThing and set it up on your first machine. Now, this can be a desktop, a home server, whatever you'd like. Simply head over to the downloads page of the official website and look under the base SyncThing section. Then download the appropriate version for your machine. This will download an archive that you can extract to a convenient place on your desktop. Double click the SyncThing executable file and a new tab should open up with your default web browser. The URL should be something like http 127.0.0.1 colon 8384 and the SyncThing interface should be present. Now you're gonna repeat this process for all of the computers on your network that you want to have uh, your save files synced with. This includes your Steam Deck. In order to set this up on your Steam Deck, you'll need to go into desktop mode. And you can also set up a username and password if you want to prevent other people from uh, synchronizing your files. But once you get to this point, you're actually going to need to do a little bit of research. See, every game is different. And as such, the save game files will be stored in different locations all over your PC. But thankfully, a generally reliable resource for locating your save games is the PC Gaming Wiki. For this tutorial, I'm going to be demonstrating Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl. So let's check the PC Gaming Wiki article of the title. And according to this, the default save location on Windows is User Profile, App Data, Local Low, Game Mill Entertainment, Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl. And if we look here, we can see that the Steam Play location is Home Directory, Dot Local, Steam Steam apps, compat data, 1414.850, PFX, drive C. Now, this can all be a little bit confusing because at least when it comes to Steam Play and Proton, you need to actually combine the Proton and Windows path names. Now, if you're on Windows, just use the Windows path. And if your game is actually natively supported on Linux, meaning it's not a Windows game being played through Steam Play or Proton, then just use the Linux path. But if you're playing a Steam Play game, you're gonna to need to use the Steam Play path and then add the Windows path to the end of it, making sure to swap the backslashes to forward slashes. Now it should look something like this when it's done. Perfect, now we've found the full path name. But before we move on, let me ask you a question. Are you enjoying this video? Do you find it useful? Why not like that smash button and beat the crap out of the subscribe button with your favorite golf club? It's sure to relieve some stress and help you stay up to date with all the cool stuff that we're doing here on the channel and thanks. For this next step, make sure that all the machines you want to sync files with are all running sync thing. Now we're going to want to add a remote device. This is the other computer that we want to sync up with. We're going to click add remote device under remote devices. The device ID of the other computer running sync thing should be present underneath the first text field. Simply click on it to add it. Then you can add this as a device name. Now I'm going to name this one desktop since that's what I want the save file to sync with. Now watch the sync thing UI on the other device. There should be a yellow prompt at the top of the page asking if you want to add a new device. Go ahead and add it and give it a name if it's not already filled in. The remote device should now be listed under remote devices. Give it a few moments and it should say connected in green text. Great, now we can share folders between devices. Using the computer that has the most up-to-date save file 
under the folders section in the sync thing interface, we're going to want to add the folders where our save file is present. Click add folder. Give the folder label a name. In my case, I'm going to name it NASB save since I'm demonstrating Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl for you. Under folder path, copy the file path of the save game location and put it here. Now under the sharing tab, click the box next to the device that you want to sync this folder with. I'm going to check off Steam Deck since that's the device I want to sync with. Next, click save. Now go back to the other computer and you should get another yellow prompt at the top where you will be asked if you want to add the folder from the other computer you just set up. Click add. This time under folder path, make sure that it's pointed to the save location for that device. Click save and now your save file should be synced between each device. Now this is where it can get a little tricky. Like I said earlier, Windows games running on the Steam Deck are going to need to be placed in the Proton directory listed on the PC Gaming Wiki. And then you'll also need to follow that with the Windows path listed on the Wiki as well. If you want to sync a save game between Windows and a Linux game on your Steam Deck, then you're going to need to set the, the save locations to the appropriate values uh, as listed on the Wiki. It's critical that you set the correct paths on each device so that the games know where to find the save games, otherwise this is a futile effort. Now if you're syncing a file from Windows and you're playing the Windows version of it on your Steam Deck, you're going to need to use the uh, Steam Play path that we talked about earlier. If you're playing a Windows game on your desktop and a native Linux version on your Steam Deck, there could be save file incompatibilities that between the systems though that is kind of rare. Now we get to test it, so let's do that by using the device that didn't have the up-to-date save file. If everything went well, this device should pick up the more up-to-date save file from the other computer. Now you can easily synchronize save files between devices on your local network without having to manually transfer the save file over. Just make sure that sync thing is running in the background on both machines. If you're playing a game in game mode on the deck, you may need to go into desktop mode and run sync thing in order to get saves synced to your other computer. You can also set up sync thing to run as a Steam game and you can launch it from game mode from there. But it's not just Steam games. Using the same principles I mentioned above, you can actually sync your save files from emulators, non-Steam games, and more. And this is a great option for anyone looking to overcome the serious annoyance of games that don't support Steam Cloud. I'd like to know what you think though. How do you sync your save games? Leave me a comment and let me know. I would love to hear from you. Now, I wanna give a special shout out to Matt Dancer for his continued support on Patreon. It's because of folks like Matt that I able to continue growing this show. If you believe in the work that I'm doing and you wanna see this channel grow, consider making a pledge using the links below to Patreon or by becoming a YouTube member. It's all greatly appreciated and thanks. I think that's gonna do it for now though. Thank you for watching. I hope you all have a blessed day and I'll see you next time.